Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I'm going to talk about wheels and tires because I get a lot of questions on the channel about it, and I think I've learned a little bit uh, since I first jumped into the wheel and tire modding aspect of owning a Toyota Tacoma. I recently changed out the wheels and tires on this truck. And I had a decision to make, something that I wanted to verify at Discount Tire, which I did. So first of all, I think wheels and tires are probably one of the first things that anybody that's into mods and stuff does with the Toyota Tacoma because we always want to go with something bigger and something more aggressive. And that's sort of what I did on this truck. It's definitely what I wanted to do when I first started out. Now, a little bit of history. This is my, I don't know, fourth, fifth, tenth, I don't know, Toyota Tacoma that I've changed wheels and tires on. And the first time that I did it, I made a big mistake. You see, I probably didn't ask the right questions. I told the shop that I wanted wheels and tires that fit. You have to be careful when you say fit because a lot of things are possible to put in the wheel wells of the Toyota Tacoma but they don't necessarily fit. In other words, they're gonna cause other problems. And that's what I had on that truck. When I would turn and hit a bump or whatever, or even just hit a bump going straight, I would get a rub because they did not fit. My definition of fit, which by the way is no rub whatsoever. So I had to replace those wheels and tires with a smaller, different setup. On one of the trucks I had, I had the same kind of an issue. I had to go with a lift and I had to do a little bit of modification in the fender well. So let's get to current day with this truck. What I wanted to do was leave it stock without doing any kind of a lift and go with a bigger tire setup on a negative offset wheel. I wanted a negative offset because I wanted to have some wheel poke on the tires. In other words, I wanted them to stick out a little bit. I didn't want them flush with the fender well area or even inside like the Honda Civic is over there. I wanted them to stick out because I like the look of it. I think it provides for a much more aggressive, meaner looking stance. So I wanted a negative offset wheel. These are set or are a negative 10. Now, I don't think you really should go much more than negative 10, maybe negative 12. That's about it because you can see how far they stick out back there in the back. And I really wouldn't want much more than that. I think at some point it just starts to look ridiculous. Now, in conjunction with that, I also wanted a bigger tire. I wanted something taller. I wanted to get a little bit of lift, if you will, out of going with a bigger tire. So. I had read and heard, you know, the internet, that 265 75s, R16s, would fit. And they do fit. However, they are going to go, or cause rather, a problem if you have a negative wheel offset, which you want if you want some wheel poke. Now, what I ended up going with is stock size 265 70 R16s. They fit perfectly. After all, they are the stock size, but brings us back to the negative offset. That brings the tire out a little bit and you can start to run into trouble with it hitting on the fenders. Right up here in the front, particularly on this corner. That's the corner that I had problems with on my last truck. And on that one, I even had a lift in the front. I leveled that truck out and had about a one and three quarter inch raise, if you will. But nonetheless, in certain circumstances, I would still hit here. So what I did is sand this little nub off, you can see right there, and then I heated this up and pushed this part that sticks in here out. That gave me enough clearance that I never had any trouble again. Let me turn the truck on real quick. I'm going to show you what I mean, even where this one sits, as far as proximity to that front area. All right, I've stopped it at the worst part, and that is with the tire turned, in this case, in this direction, 
And you can see how close we are right here to the corner of the tire and this intruding part, if you will, of the inner fender. Now, when I had the shop put on the 265 75s, I was just a finger width. So you can see how much closer they were. It's about half an inch, but I was about a finger width away from this corner. That means if I was to turn and go down a bump or anything, this would then be into the tire and I would be hitting this area. Imagine how disastrous that would be if you were in reverse and did that and the treads of the tire were grabbing this area as opposed to just riding across it. You could have a problem. It could rip this up. It could also damage the fender. Loosen it up because it's connected right down here with a bolt. That's what you have to look for. I would say that you can see the distance here. There's my finger. I'm about a normal size person, I think. I have a little bit of space with my finger like this before I would touch the tire. That's as close as you want to get. If you are any closer than this, you're going to have a problem. You are going to have a rub. Now, the other issue was in the back. And even with these tires, because of the offset, I had to remove the mud flap that was here. It was very, very close. There's no doubt in my mind that in the right circumstances, it would have caught that mud flap. Something else that you kind of have to get rid of if you're going to have a bigger offset or a, a negative offset, I should say. Now, there is another concern, something else I ran into. You can also rub right in here, right on the corner of, uh, of this area. And you want to make sure that you have, and I have plenty of room, you can see there, but on one of the trucks that I had before, I could just barely fit my knuckles down inside there and it would slightly impact. So when the truck would articulate or the wheels would move, it would rub in that area. You want to make sure that you don't have that problem either. And I would highly recommend that if you're going to a shop and if they're a reputable shop, they should let you do this. Put the wheels and tires on, put the tires on that you're going to get with the wheels and see what it looks like. You know, when I bought these from Discount Tire, they actually brought in the 265.70s that I have on there now and the 265.75s, mounted that tire on the wheels that I got just to see how close it was. And they did fit within the fender well, but when I did the turn like I've done right here, they absolutely would have rubbed in certain situations. And in my opinion, that is a wheel tire combo that does not fit. One other thing I do want to mention, if you're changing out wheels, make sure that you have clearance between the wheels and the edge of the hub underneath or the brakes, the calipers. And if you have weights on the inside of those wheels, which is where every shop puts them these days, make sure that when the tire's turning, those weights aren't hitting anything. You want low pri profile weights, and I'm talking about the weights that they use to balance the tires so that they don't impact anything behind them because they'll rip right off, you'll be out of balance, and then you'll wonder. You would have seen them on when you got it done, and then you'll wonder, well, what happened? It was fine until they get pulled off. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. There's always a lot of confusion when it comes to wheel and tire setups. I will tell you that the most severe you can go with, from my experience with the Tacoma, it's a 265-70R16 with a negative 10 setup, possibly a negative 12. It'll bring it out a little further. I don't think you'd have any problem with it, but I wouldn't go much further than that. Leave a comment, let me know your experience, and be honest, have you gotten anything that's bigger that did not rub in any circumstance? I'd be very curious to hear. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.